Hello again. This time we're going to learn about temporary tables. Temporary tables, as the name suggests, uh, are tables that could, you know, they could be useful in, in some situations, but they are there to keep temporary data. You know, what I want you to remember if you ever think about using temporary tables is that. Uh, the data or the temporary tables themselves they will be deleted as soon as the client session ends the session terminates if we log out and then log in again the temporary table will not be there so it's only temporary the name says it's all temporary tables maybe we temporarily want to hold some data in them but they will be destroyed as soon as we log out and as I said sometimes in such some situations uh, a need arises uh, where we uh, want to use temporary tables. Now, it shouldn't take too long. Let's have a look at how we how we can create them and how we can uh, 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 manipulate them. Now, uh, let's see how have, have a look at our tables now. What, what do we have? Yet yeah, we still have the fans table, the results table, the teams table, as we saw before in our <coughs> teams database. Now, let's c c c quickly create a temporary table and the way the commands or the statements to create it is very very similar to the normal create table uh, uh, statement it's just we need to say temporary there so create temporary table and then we give a table name and then we give the table structure let me copy and paste that quickly I'm naming it crowds table now again so if I create the table crowds table and then do show, ta do, uh, show tables what do you expect? it's not there you see it doesn't actually show because why it's because it's a temporary table but still we can actually uh, use it so select star from crowds crowds table it's empty because we didn't have any data in it but the table exists and we can actually insert some data if you to double check insert some data and notice the types that uh, no let's actually try to describe it first so describe uh, uh, crowds table so we just need to make sure that it's actually there we can see its structure and then we can have the insert statement uh, and now if we query it we should be able to get something back yes so see it's only temporary what that means is if I log out and log in again it won't be there and I'll just show you how to do that you should log out control D and then log in again with my uh, root account I'm there now so I can change to teams DB we must be very familiar with this now uh, and then if I show tables of course that temporary table will not show it but if I try to select or try to just describe it if you remember I named it what crowds table then it's telling me it doesn't even exist yet that's why it's actually a temporary table thanks for watching you can drop it if you want after you finish your session after you finish using it you can use drop table to drop it but remember that when you start when you log out uh, it will be completely destroyed and if you are using some uh, forms of uh, GUI client or MySQL client or even if you're accessing uh, and executing SQL, uh, SQL commands on MySQL using PHP or any other language remember that as soon as your script finish finishes uh, 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 executing that temporary table will be automatically deleted thanks for watching and I'll see you next time